everybody, Christopher Naiman back for a tutorial on embroidery. So for all you newbies out there who have never done continuous border hooping, this is going to help you out. And for all you veterans who have done this, well, if you're watching, welcome. And maybe there's something I can show you or something that you can comment and show me. Okay? So, let's start with our fabric. Now, I'm just going to start with this strip of fabric here. Okay? And with this fabric, you want to find the position of where you're going to sew in the center. Okay? Now, when you're using a border hoop, there's only so far that you can place the fabric into the border hoop. So you want to be able to find how far this will fit in. For example, if I slip this in and I butt it right up against the edges here, let me show you. Let me show you on the side here. If I slip this in, this fabric, unlike standard hoops the border hoop will only let you go so far and that's good because once you butt against the edge here and then you push it down then when you stitch it and then you move it forward and you butt it against there it's going to stay even all the way down but you also have your markers here this is for the center and I did that in red here if you can see that so I always like to mark my my hoops to see where my centers my my vertical and horizontal okay as you can see this part here is what gets connected to the embroidery arm so but we need to we need to fatten this up a little bit you know it needs some support it needs a girdle a bra a back brace that's what support is in embroidery so what I'm using for this is I'm going to use this cut a uh, tear away fusible stabilizer and this one is approximately, oh, uh, let's see, it's about seven and a half inches wide. No, it's eight inches. It is eight and about eight and a half inches wide, okay? I like to buy my embroidery stabilizers on the big roll because you save a lot of money if you're going to do a lot of embroidery, which I do. All right, now, so after... I do that what I like to do is find the center here but before I mark the center you take I fused the stabilizer into the back of the fabric now that your fabric may be bigger say you're doing a tablecloth so this would be the edge of the tablecloth and back here would be where the rest of the tablecloth is now I wouldn't suggest hemming this yet because you don't want this to be too bulky I would suggest hemming this tablecloth after you do this. Now, if you already purchased a ready-made tablecloth, then um, the hems probably really aren't that thick. They're probably just surged over or whatever. So, But now what we do is we butt it up, put it in, and butt it up right against the edge there. And because this fabric's been beefed up, it's not going to curl up on you in the end. Then what I do is I do this. Now, after I do that, I take a chalk and I mark where these lines are where my center of my hoop is is you have those indications on your hoop and that's why I did the red so what I like to do is let's see this fabric may not have been cut even completely even so I gotta make sure I get it in there mark that down there we go okay so now I then what I do is I take a chalk I mark with a chalk then I take this out of the hoop and I get my ruler and I do a chalk line all the way down now you can use air erasable marker you can use Taylor's chalk Taylor's chalk washes out with water you use anything you want that isn't per is not permanent okay so when you go on your hoop now again here is where you get it gets connected to the embroidery arm so you're going to start with this side like this and put this in after embroiders then you move it forward okay so let me hook this up now let me install it here Let's see where I'm at with my positioning and that looks pretty good that looks pretty good then I push that down 
Now we're going to go over to the machine and I'm going to select a, a design and I'm going to show you how to set up the registration marks or what my friend Darlene used to call GPS, your GPS markers, which I love GPS. Um, for all the other people, it would be known as registration markers for border continuous hooping. So let's go over to the sewing machine and uh, let's get started on that. All right, so what I'm teaching you on is a Brother uh, VM5100. Um, Brother makes baby locks, so if you're watching this video and you've got a baby lock machine that has this capability or any other Brother machine that has this capability, it's all the same. These machines are the same, except each brand has its own little built-in embroidery design software, okay? So, but this is, you follow this for Brother and the same for Baby Lock, okay? Now I'm going to select Embroidery Edit. I have a USB with a lot of designs that I have, so you're going to see right here, I'm going to go to my USB, and I'm going to pull up my border, here I have borders right here. I think it's on page six, the one I want to use. No, I think it's higher. There it is. It's actually page eight. I'm going to select this design here. Just a very quick, simple design, because this is just for demonstration purposes. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select set. After set, you're going to see there's a little icon here with a bunch of squares, like Hollywood squares. Remember that show? Paul Lynn is always in the middle, wasn't he? Okay, so we're going to select this. All right. Then I'm going to select. Now, see, so you can see this is the frame that's going in. I'm going to select. Let's see. I'm going to select this little arrow, this icon with the arrow. Can you see that? Make sure you guys can see. There we go. Select this icon with the arrow down. Now, here's your GPS right here. These are your registration marks. I only need two at the bottom. I really only need two. So I'm going to click this and click that. Now, if you have uh, one of the Brother of Baby Lock machines have a built-in ca camera that scans it, that's perfect. Um, I don't know if the machines that have the capability to scan with the app on the phone whether the border hoop can be scanned or not. Uh, I believe you have to have a code or some kind of a bar barcode on the hoop itself. So I cannot answer that. You'll have to check with your dealers where you um, go and visit Baby Lock or Brother Dealers. But anyway, after I do that, then I'm going to click close. Okay. And then I'm going to click embroidery. Now, I don't want to be changing threads. I want this all in one color. So this little spool of thread, watch what's going to happen when I click this spool of thread. All this is going to shade out. There we go. That means it's going to sell all the same color. Okay? Now, you can also... Uh, I, I have the drop light, the LED drop light that's going to show me where it's going to embroider so I can line this up perfectly. And then to line it up perfectly in the middle of the line, you just do this. But I'm going to leave it just as it is because I know it's just enough... It's just okay for me. So now, let me hoop, put my hoop in the machine and we'll embroider and, oh, one thing I want to show you. You see right down here, you've got these marks, little black marks down here. Let me um, edit this video to zoom in so you can see that. That is indicating to you that it's going to leave the registration marks when it's done embroidering. Those registration marks are important because when you advance the fabric, okay, you want to drop your needle to make sure it matches those registration marks and then you're going to get continuous bordering. Continuous border hoop design. Okay? Alright, let's let's move over. Alright, so I'm going to slide the hoop in. There we go. And as you can see, I'm going to hit the I'm going to show you my drop light. There is the LED light. See, it's right in the center. You can see where the LED light is right on my line. Okay, so I just have to make sure that when I keep when I advance this, that it matches up with the red line here. And when I do my drop light, it matches there, and it's going to match the GPS. If you don't have a drop light, you're going to match the GPS markings, which I just showed you on the screen. So let me lower my foot. Let me hit play, and I'll fast forward this video until we get to the next part.
Okay, so what I like to do, I want to point something out to you. Okay, so you see where it started embroidering right here, right? So what I like to do, I like to measure where the designs start in this frame. So if I take my my ruler and measure down, it's about almost an inch. So what I like to do, I like to come over on each side and I like to mark that right on the hoop. And I can see that there are two lines here, so I'm going to mark the second line. Now don't worry, this will come out with alcohol, so if you have to do other lines in the future, anything will come out with alcohol. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back in here, and the reason why I do that, well, I better, yeah, I'm going to put this back in so you get it started here. The reason why I do this, because when I forward this, here I'll show you, when I forward this, I need a forward and try to match up right about there. And then push down on my hoop on both top and bottom. Put this back in. And then I need to set the position. Okay, my apology. I thought I was running the camera when I did this. Anyway, let me close this. All right, so what I want to do is I want to do a position. So I touch that, and then I touch this up here. And it's going to take me to the top left corner of my design. Then I'm going to lower my needle to make sure it hits that registration mark. So let's go back to the hoop. All right, so I touched the icon for my drop needle LED light and it's hitting that registration mark perfectly. Now if I lower my needle, if I don't have a registration mark, when I lower the needle it is exactly hitting in that corner there. Okay, let me lift my needle again. There it is. And you can see how important and how nice this uh, registration mark is. Now I'm going to go back to the placement and I'm going to go to the right corner and see the registration mark, it's hitting right there. So this is going to come out beautiful. It's going to come out beautiful. Now I'm going to close that screen, lower my foot, I'm going to hit play, and it's going to pick up right where I left off. Okay, you can see you put the registration marks in, but we've got to move our fabric up now again. I'm just going to show you, so I'm going to move my fabric up. Let me get the hoop out here just to show you. It's like we did last time. Move it up and match it to those little red marks there. And this line, your center line, will help you line up. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Slip that back in. Now we need to get this to the top, right? And this is the part last time where I thought my camera was running and it wasn't. So let me get back over here and show you this. All right, so I'm going to hit, uh, it's finished sewing, okay. Now I'm going to hit the placement marker right here. And see, then I'm going to click this, and it's going to take me up to the corner. So let me 
show you as I click it or touch that icon it's going to take me up all right so then after I do that then I'm going to close I'm going to touch my little icon there <clears throat> And let's see how close I am there. Let me see how close I am. Okay, so I'm a little bit off. So now I'm going to take my hoop. I'm going to move it until I am perfect right on that corner there. There it is. And there it is. See, I'm right on that corner. And then I'll just keep continuing and I'll have a whole row. So that's how the basic tutorial is up for this, for continuous hooping. Let me take this out and show you. And you can see how I got to keep going. Back this camera up. There we go. And you can see how I got it, continuous hooping. There it is. And these, these GPS markings will just come right out because they're like a basting thread. Isn't that great? So you just, let me take it out of the hoop now because I'm not going to do any more. I can always re-hoop it if I want to keep going. So now that I have that, let me just show you here. So here's where we originally started, right? And it keeps going. Look how it touches so perfectly. You see that? It touches beautifully there. And keep going down. That's how you do it, folks. That is your perfect, perfect border, continuous border hooping. I hope this helps you, and I know it will. So again, this is for the machines that have this capability. If you never used it, try it. You paid for it, you might as well use it. And once you start using, you're gonna say, oh my gosh, this is great. And you can use pretty much any design, as long as it fits in the hoop. And uh, you'll have a beautiful, beautiful table runners, pillowcases, you name it. Down the border of your shirt, you know, any design that you choose, you just uh, figure it out and Whatever project you're working on, you'll have beautiful, beautiful, continuous embroidery. Just like the professionals do in the factories, right? All right, take care, everybody. Till my next video, happy sewing. Be creative, be fun, and be inspired.